Hey everybody, so I'm Tom Beach with Tab Nation if you don't already know. Today's video we're going to be talking about doing like a kind of like a password protection thing. Uh, normally, you know, obviously you can lock your computer, have your password done that way. But let's say you want to password protect a specific window so you can hide that window and only unhide it with a password. So let's uh, go ahead and jump into that code. But actually, right before I do that, you might notice right above me there, I actually have a display of my mouse and keyboard. So if I click, you can actually see what I'm doing physically, since you can't see my keyboard in the video recording. If this is something you guys think is kind of cool and I should include in all my videos, definitely let me know in the comments below. If you think it's just taking up real estate and don't really care to see it, let me know also. And I'll see if I use it going forward, but I'll use it for a little bit, see how I like it, how you guys like it. All right. So you can obviously adjust this to meet your needs a little bit better. This was kind of just a simple attempt at this. Uh, but we're going to start off right away with my password is going to be blank. It's not actually going to be blank, but the word blank. Uh, you know, you could start this out with anything. It could be actually a password or one, two, three, four, five. Let, let's actually do uh, one, two, three, four, five. That way, because I guess blank kind of could be a little confusing. Um, so I'm using the hotkey F1 here. And we're going to be using a toggle. I've explained toggles in previous video in one of my intro videos if you want to know a little bit more about that. Basically, I always call it a on and off switch, basically, for my script. So the first time, uh, I'm not going to put up here. I know a lot of people will put something like uh, toggle equals uh, zero. We don't really need to do that in that script. Uh, because it's just going to be, as soon as we use it, it's automatically going to assign the value 1 to it. So we don't really need that to start in the off position, because first hit, it's just going to automatically turn it to the on position, which just means it switches between 0 and 1. So if toggle 1, or toggle equals 1, we're going to get the title of the current window that I have active, which is what that A there is for. We're then going to take that title name and set the transparency. Uh, we're using a win set transparency. We're going to set it to zero. And zero basically means make it completely invisible. Uh, I think 255 is like fully visible. I would have to double check that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's 255. If you set that to that, it would go back to 100% visible to the eye. And then we're going to stop. So this is going to make a window invisible, whatever my active window is. Now, let's say we go back and, you know, I run off to the bathroom or something. I come back. I'm going to push F1 again. So it's going to hit this else because that toggle is now going to equal zero. So this equals false. So it just goes to the else. And we're going to have an input box pop up. And it's going to ask me to, the title will be just enter password, and it'll ask me, what is your password, your PW. It's then going to save that variable of whatever I enter as password check. If password check equals my password, which basically if I type in 12345, it's going to equal true. So then right here, it's going to take that title name that we got up above when we first initiated this. And... I said you can use 255, um, but because I'm not 100% sure on that, I'm going to use off. I also believe uh, that I remember reading that off will actually, it's less processor hungry for some reason or something. I'm sure you're really honestly not going to notice a difference, but since it says that's the best way to do it, that's the way I'm going to do it. Uh, then it's going to maximize that window. Uh, the reason behind that is let's say you do walk away and somebody like jumps on your computer and they're trying to click the little tray thing down at the bottom to open it they might have accidentally minimized it even though it's invisible it can still be minimized and maximized you just can't see it 
So this is just in case someone messed with it or you accidentally minimized it for getting, oh, I had to push F1. This is just going to bring it back up for you. You can get rid of this line if you want or just comment it out uh, just by putting that there, the semicolon. That's fine. Uh, we're then going to clear out the title variable from when we grabbed the active window name. And that, that way if we move to a, another program, you know, we have it ready to go. I guess you really don't technically need this, but I already put it there, so we're going to leave it there. Now let's say the password check and my password do not match. I typed in the wrong password or someone was trying to guess my password and they got it wrong. They're just simply going to get that message box right there. Nope. Try again. Now... For those who maybe don't want to have to always go in here and change the password from the actual script, or maybe you share this with someone who doesn't know how to change it in the script, this is just the starting password. So down here I got it so you can actually change the password to whatever you guys actually want it as. I'm just going to assign that to F2 as the hotkey. Once again, you can change these keys to be whatever you want. If you want it to be Control shift P for password, go for it. Uh, once again, we're going to get an input box. It's first going to ask us uh, for what is our old password. So when we first use this, it's just going to be 12345. If I get that correct with the password uh, check and my password, kind of like we saw up above, we're then going to get a new input box where it's going to ask us what is your new password. And that's where we're going to put whatever we want in there. And then it's just going to take that password check from up here. It's going to assign it to my password. I just realized, honestly, we don't need this line of code. We can just put that there and get rid of that. There we go. A little bit cleaner. Like I said, I kind of just made this on the fly. So this will be uh, the first time testing it. Hopefully it goes well. I don't have to do some video editing. <laughs> um, if I get the password incorrect of what my old password was, once again, I'm just getting another message box. And this one's just going to say, you got, you got that wrong. Try again, pal. Obviously, you can change the message boxes to whatever you want. Now, I have done some I and I file videos. If you want to check those out, you could... Because when you restart this script or restart your computer, it is going to reset back to this default password here. So if you want it to, you could add uh, like an INI read at the beginning of your script. And then when you change your password, an INI write. That way it's always saving your password. And this my password up here would only ever have to be used the first time you run it. And after that, restart your computer, whatever your new password will always be there. Mine, though, it's going to have to be reset every time I do my script just because I just didn't put the INI stuff in there yet. But yeah, check out those videos. Those will definitely help you. And if you guys like this video and those videos, definitely subscribe. Uh, I'm usually pumping out like two to three videos every week, having to do mostly with auto hotkeys, but I've been expanding a little bit into also just automation in general. You know, gaming automation, automation for your job, automation for your personal life. So definitely uh, keep up with what's going on. I hope it helps you guys out. All right, let's give this a shot and hope it goes well. <laughs> okay, where's that script? Here's the script. All right, so I got that running. If you want to add a message box at the beginning saying like, hey, your program's running, that's fine, but... I'm pretty confident it's worth running. Uh, so let's just use Notepad++. Let's password protect this. Maybe I, I don't feel like locking my computer, but I don't want this script really... I don't want someone seeing it or messing with it as a mistake, or maybe they just want to mess around with me for some reason. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and start with F2 instead and change the password. So the old password is just that beginning one, one, two, three... Uh, four or five. I'm going to push OK. What is your new password? And we'll just say it is um, B. Why not? 
you could also, if you really wanted to, you could add a like a st string uh, string length requirement to this. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen this all, all the time. Uh, your password has to contain at least 10 characters or something. You can do that, but I, I don't really want that. I hate that, so I'm basically giving the user whatever they want. Uh, this is case sensitive. If you don't want it to be case sensitive, at the beginning of your script, you can turn case sensitive off. I've done another video about that too. Um, but I'm basically giving the user as much freedom as they want with this. They could literally put one letter here as their password if they wanted to. So I'm going to push OK. And we're good to go. I guess you could add a um, message box after this just saying like, hey, your, your new password's good to go. Yeah, we're not going to do that right now. All right, I'm going to push F1. It So the window still exists. It's just invisible now. So I cannot see it. I come back. You know, walk away. Come back. That seems to mess up my green screen a little bit there. And now I'm going to push F1 again. That toggle is going to trigger to go to the else instead now. What is your password? Um, B. And there is my stuff back again. And it did maximize it. Um, you could probably use it, like save the coordinates too before you do that. And instead of maximizing it, just have to do like a win move. Once again, another video I've done. Check that out. <laughs> so yeah, uh, if you guys think this is cool you got any ideas on how to add to it besides uh i and i files and whatnot definitely hit me up in the comments below i kind of really enjoy this script and can see myself using this quite a bit at my job uh just because the password requirements at my job are like insane like it's like i forget what it is it's like it has to be like 18 characters long and a whole bunch of stuff and i hate doing that but if I had something open that I couldn't really walk away with my desk without it being hidden or something, I could see myself using this as a great way to just have a much simpler password and hide that specific window. I don't need other people seeing uh, why I'm gone. So yeah, alright guys, hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.